surprise in my hot air balloon. Wow, that sounds fun. <coughs> Can I have a ticket, please? The blue ticket wins a toy car. Well done, Danny. <laughs> Can I have a ticket, please? Thank you, Peppa. What are you hoping to win? The balloon ride. <coughs> Wouldn't it be nicer to win the homemade chocolate cake? Daddy Pig loves homemade chocolate cake. <laughs> the red ticket wins the balloon ride! Hooray! All aboard for the balloon ride! How many passengers, please? Four, please. And Teddy, dinosaur! Oh, and a teddy and a dinosaur. That makes six. All aboard! <laughs> Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Hop aboard! Quick, Daddy! Splice the main brace, chocks away, full steam ahead! Very impressive, Miss Rabbit. You must be an expert pilot. Not really. This is the first time I've ever flown a balloon. Oh. Hold tight! Miss Rabbit heats up the air in the balloon to make it rise into the sky. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Would anyone like to do the map reading? I will. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? I'm very good at map reading. Oh, this map is a bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go higher? Yes, please. Higher, higher! The balloon is rising high into the sky. Oh! Where did the sky go? Don't worry, Peppa. We're just flying through a cloud. Ooh! Wow! The sky is back again. Hooray! <laughs> big balloon, big balloon. Bigger than the sun and moon. Flying high in the sky. Fly and fly and fly and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Dr Hamster. This is Mr Elephant. Mr Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Airplane! No! George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Stand aside. Vet coming through. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over there. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. Uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly. It's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper. George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha. Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. 
And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK. Hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! Oh. It can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency! Emergency! Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look! Is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car. You can make it. Hooray! Hooray! Peppa and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <coughs> Thank you, Ig. Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> this is the building where Daddy Pig works. Oh, we're here. Hooray! <laughs> yes? Hello. It's Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Can I press the button too? <laughs> of course, Pepper. Yes? It's me. Oh, hello, me. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> My office is on the top floor. We have to go up in the lift. Can I press the button? I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, George. <laughs> Ooh. The lift is taking Pepper, George and Daddy Pig up to the very top floor. Wow! Top floor, doors opening. 
This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. <coughs> Peppa and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper, I take a rubber stamp, and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? Me! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Silly me! <laughs> Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear. Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> no need to panic. Oh dear, everyone is wet. 
At least the car has been washed. We've all been washed. <laughs> you go and dry yourselves while I polish the car. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Daddy Pig is polishing the car so well he can see his face in it. <laughs> what a funny face. <laughs> oh, more funny faces. <laughs> it's Pepper and George. <laughs> Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> This is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow! Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. <laughs> OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh. Where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> Stop! That's our car! What? Is it really? Yes! yes. Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's one o'clock. They're late, as usual. How are your potatoes doing? Um, they still need a bit more cooking. Granny Pig speaking. Hello, Granny Pig. We're stuck in a traffic jam. Don't worry. We're running late too. Grandpa's gone over the top with potatoes. See you in a bit. The poor dears are stuck in a traffic jam. Sounds like I've got time to get a few more potatoes. Grandpa Pig. We're moving so slowly. We'll never get to Granny and Grandpa's. Peppa's right. We have to try a different way. But there aren't any other main roads. I know a shortcut. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. We're taking a shortcut. Bye-bye, Peppa. Good luck! Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut to get ahead of the traffic. The shortcut is very bumpy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Are you sure about this? Trust me. Hello, ducks. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Lunch is ready. And, most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. But the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. 
They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. <coughs> the food is going to get cold. <coughs> Pepper and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. Oh! Mummy! Daddy! It's gone all dark and the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh! Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Trickety. Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes, <laughs> but in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK, I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh. I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. <laughs> Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. Oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be? Exactly. Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations. Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody. <laughs> it is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Pepper Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you'll build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes. <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <laughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh, no.
Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Pepper? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Parcel for you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye. Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur. Oh, George, <laughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm. I think it's uh, a new toy. You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now we won't talk anymore. Well done, Pepper. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Pepper. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Again, <laughs> again. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> Maybe we should film something new. Juice for you, Teddy. What do you say? Thank you very much, Peppa. You're very welcome, Teddy. 
Here's some orange juice for you, Mr. Dinosaur. And what do you say? Grrr. You're very welcome, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Would Teddy or Mr. Dinosaur like a cookie? We're not very hungry. So Pepper and George can eat all the cookies. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> What was that strange noise? Pepper, George, quick, come inside the house. Mummy, there was a loud bang sound. It's thunder, Pepper. It means there will be a thunderstorm with lots of rain. <coughs> quick, into the house before the rain starts. <laughs> no need to panic. The rain is still a long way off. The sky is getting darker and darker. There is going to be a thunderstorm. Pepper, George, did you bring all your toys in from the garden? Dinosaur. Good. Mr. Dinosaur is safe. Teddy! I left Teddy in the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. <laughs> poor Teddy! He's soaking wet. Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> There you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, chew! What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. Where's the water? <laughs> Peppa and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. <coughs> the same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh, dear. George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's dip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. What sort of boats do you have, Miss Rabbit? I've got canoes. Ooh, let's have a canoe. Hmm, you have to paddle a canoe. That's hard work. I've got sailing boats. It's a bit tricky to sail a sailing boat. And I've got pedalos. They look nice and relaxing. Yes, they've got a big paddle wheel to make them go. Let's have a pedalo. <laughs> when I ring this bell, 
It's time to bring the boat back. Enjoy your boat trip. It's not moving. No. How do we start the engine? <laughs> You're the engine, Daddy Pig. You have to pedal. Oh, I see. Off we go, then. It's a bicycle on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Riding in a pedalo on a sunny lake. Daddy is the engine. I hope he doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Emily Elephant and her family. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We'd like a canoe, please. Certainly. The Elephant family like canoeing. Paddles ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Elephant. Elephant. Then let's go. Ahoy there, Miss Rabbit. It is Danny Dog and his dad, Captain Dog. We'd like a boat, please. Certainly. I have canoes, sailing boats or pedalos. I didn't sail the world and make my fortune to splash around in a pedalo. We'll take the sailing boat. Do you know how to work it? Do I know how to work it? I'm Captain Dog. Ruff, come on, Danny. All aboard. Full sail. Aye, aye, Captain Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're sailing. We're canoeing. We're peddling. <laughs> Enjoy the sea and the sky. Hello. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. Okay. One, two, There are not many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. Found you. Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? <laughs> George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George. <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. It is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. <sighs> My new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry. Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the foghorn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Grampy Rabbit is guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, please. <laughs> Mr. Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. 
What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes. Everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? Of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strong men. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <laughs> wow, what did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? <laughs> I want to be the clown. But, Pepper, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Peppa. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes! I'll be the ringmaster! <sniffs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my suckers. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh! Uh, welcome to my circus. 
It's got amazing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Danny. Danny. Hello, everyone. <coughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes. yes. Get dressed up then. Danny Dog has a dressing up box full of pirate clothes. Ah, my hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh. It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me, 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 me. me! Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Hurrah! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Oh, jolly pirates we, that's how the deep blue sea, to find a golden treasure. Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. Let's creep up on Pedro. Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro! Howdy, everyone. Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <coughs> um, no. That might be a bit scary, but we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. Okay. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> Is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No, you have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up and it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo, baked beans bingly bongly bang. It is the day of the big puddle jump. Daddy Pig is wearing his puddle jumping costume. I can't find my golden boots. I gave those old boots to Grandpa for his gardening. My lucky golden boots? To be used as gardening boots? You've got other ones. It's not the same. Hello? Grandpa. 
Grandpa? Remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto. I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's Puddle Jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. Whoa! The puddle has gone. <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us. Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record. Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig. And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig. One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found some magic beans. Oh, yes. Now... Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper. <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. He promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up, and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Uh, a scary dragon! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. Oh. Hey. Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's magic 
Daddy! Hooray! Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words, abracadabra. Abracadabra! Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Peppa. <gasps> Everyone, this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> what can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh. Dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh. Silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look. I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great. Happy birthday, George. <laughs> Bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Pig. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you.